Hey, what's up? So, um, I'm starting in uh, code signal, and this is one of the first questions. I mean, there is one before, it, but it's really simple. It's just uh, add two numbers. So, um, this one is, um, or this problem says, given a year, retain the century. Oh, uh, sorry, it's in. So, the first century spans from year one up to and including. Uh, the year 100 yeah obviously and the second one uh, from 100 and, and 1 to 200 right so uh, at the moment we are in the 21st century S century <laughs> I found it hard to pronounce this word so uh, 19 and 5 will be uh, the century next to 19 so it's 20 uh, 17 uh, 100 will be just uh, 17 so if you think about it we um, each century is a hundred year so let's always divide by hundred let's go now uh, let me open uh, Jupiter and the console so first thing uh, so 19 19,000 uh, over 100 would be 19 but if we put and 5 this would be 19.5 uh, so this won't give us the correct answer. This should be 200, uh, 20, sorry. And uh, 20,000 over 100 would be 20. But for example, if it's uh, 2020, uh, it would be 20.2. This should be uh, 21. This is the current century we are in. So let's import math. Now uh, math dot seeding. So we will seal every uh, result after we divide uh, to the next uh, integer. So 20, 20 over 100. This will give us 21, right? Uh, 19, this will be also 21. But if you go to uh, 19,000, this will be 19, but 19,000 and 5, uh, this will be 20, as same as their example. So let's just copy this. Oh, let me exit. Now let me copy this. So that's what we need to do. So just return a uh, year, of course. Return uh, the ceiling of the year divided by 100. And that should be it. I think it's really easy. Uh, but yeah, my internet connection is slow, but uh, this, this should be fine. Uh, and yeah, they are importing uh, a lot of things by default, so you don't need to import uh, math. So that's why I didn't import it. Come on. Okay, so correct. Thank you.